But my parents were both, uh, I guess we would say, radical Zionists. That was their that was their main Jewish identity through their teens and early twenties. I think uh, they were both planning to make Aliyah to Israel. They were part of a group that was, you know, they had adjusted their college majors so that they would have the right combination of things they were going to found a kibbutz or at least go and live together on a kibbutz. Uh, and all of this was happening, I guess, in the late, the mid to late 30s. And uh, when World War II broke out, their parents said, no way are you going to Palestine. <laughs> so that was sort of the end of that dream. But they, they kept up their um, commitments to a kind of uh, a Jewish homeland in Israel, although they were binationalists initially. They were very nervous about having a Jewish state that would displace the people who were there already. Um, and my mother explained to me, I didn't realize until mm, probably my 20s the degree to which that was their identity when they were growing up. My mother explained to me at that point that when they moved out to suburban New Jersey, uh, there was, they didn't feel like there was any way that they could express that. They had some friends in New York that they would see occasionally, but if they wanted to give us a Jewish identity, it had to be through a synagogue, they thought. So they joined a conservative synagogue, and that was, you know, the home that I grew up in. I had no idea that there was this whole other Jewish life that had been theirs in a way when they were, when they were younger.